and let's finish up. Uh, I'm gonna just clean up the overall scene and apply a few very basic materials and just get rid of this whole gray uh, of the scene so we can better see it and uh, let's go to the hypershade and first I'm just gonna select Lambert press control A and just kinda bump this up I could go white, I could go black I could also change any color I want so I'm gonna go with uh, a little bit of white, off-white, a little grayish now I'm gonna create a couple of more materials mainly blend and a couple of them so let, this is gonna be let's get rid of uh, our glass actually I'm gonna use this to crea create create a blend change it to blend and so we don't have to mess around with it and increase some of the speckle areas so just in our hypershade in our in our view perspective viewport we can see it have it a little bit different and this is going to be curtain and we can change the color of it so I'm going to keep everything to kind of a grayish and I don't want reflectivity on it No specular, it's going to be cloth, so now that stuff applies. So now I select this, and I'm going to middle mouse drag over the curtains. And I'm going to do that for all the curtains. It just adds a little bit more variety to our scene so it doesn't stay that complete gray and you can do that for all the objects um, I, I'm particular I'm not gonna go into texture this was uh, a modeling exercise but if you guys want to go a little bit further and actually light it and texture it uh, go ahead you can uh, send me whatever you do with it or if you completely redefine the scene you know just shoot me an email at uh, worldoflevel.design.com I'll be uh, happy to uh, see what you d what you did with it I'm gonna drag these windows because I was seeing that they kinda appeared through our curtain and uh, Now let's just also apply this to the carpet. I don't want it to be that dark. Here we go. And and that's it. Now I'm not going to mess around with it anymore. Um, this is our scene. Hope you guys had fun and learned a lot. And thank you for watching and stay tuned for a lot more videos. Thanks.